Here are the starters for race five. This is the first elimination division for two-year-old trotting Colts in the State Fair Colt Stakes. The top two are guaranteed to come back for the final, as well as two third-place finishers drawn by lot from these eliminations. Number one, charge and a victory, owned by the American Trotting Stable of Larry Hunt, who is based in Coral Springs, Florida, owned also by Ron Walton of Lexington, Kentucky, trained by Steve Waller. Anthony Morgan is up. Two, Holly Hill Cupid, owned by Lawson Dyson of Covington, Tennessee. He trains Dean McGee drives. Three, Grand Connection, co-owned, trained, and driven by Richard McKibben of Anawan. His wife, Ann, is also a co-owner. Four, Uncle Pappy, owned by Carol Graham of Salem. Tom Buddy Graham trains. Dave McGee drives. Five, Morgan's Classic, owned by Larry Hybert and Ken Faisal of Crete, trained by Harry Zirin, Jr., Eric Ledford, the driver. Number six, Willie B.A. Saluki, owned by Ray Hanna of Altamont and Dick Corson of St. Peter, trained by Ray Hanna, Dale Heitman, the driver. Number seven, Mr. Cody, owned by Benita Simmons of Springfield and Willis Ham of Rutledge, Missouri, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Number eight are Good Times, owned by Smigelski and by Richard and Ruth Suda and by the Ferguson Stable Incorporated, trained by Jim Ferguson. The driver is Rick Schrock. And number nine, Genuine Hero, owned by Bill Wright of Morton, Donald Coleman of Lebanon, and also owned by Pete Taylor, trained by Dirk Simpson, and Dirk Simpson is in the bike. Morgan drives the one, trotting hobbles for both the five and the nine, and post time is coming up in three minutes. Here they come. Grand Connection off stride. The rest are off and trotting, except for Our Good Times, who is on a break. And there goes Willie B.A. Saluki out for the lead. Uncle Pappy gets away second. Charge into victory is there toward the inside and third as they head on to the turn. Mr. Cody moving up from the outside along with Genuine Hero. Willie B.A. Saluki gets toward the rail, leading Mr. Cody by three parts of a length. Uncle Pappy third inside of Genuine Hero, then charge into victory, followed by Holly Hill Cupid, who's against the rail, seven lengths off the lead. Morgan's Classic, Grand Connection, and finally, Our Good Times, who is the distant trailer after a couple of mistakes. 29-3 and three for the opening quarter, and now Genuine Hero makes the top, and here comes Willie B.A. Saluki on the move behind him into the second spot. Mr. Cody led briefly, but now he's third, and there goes Willie B.A. Saluki, the third lead change before the half-mile mark. Willie B.A. Saluki on top now by a half length. Genuine Hero second by two. Mr. Cody is third by two and a half, then Uncle Pappy off the half in a minute. Then comes Charge into Victory. He's toward the rail, seven lengths off the leader. Holly Hill Cupid is next. Grand Connection on the outside of Morgan's Classic, heading on to the far turn, and Our Good Times is the distant trailer. Midway on the final turn, Willie B.A. Saluki on top by a length and a half. Genuine Hero, second to half length. Here comes Mr. Cody, inching forward from third. Uncle Pappy is in the outer flow behind him. Charge into victory is now fifth toward the inside as Holly Hill Cupid thinks about a three-deep maneuver off three quarters and 132 and three. Willie B.A. Saluki leading it by three parts of a length. Mr. Cody, Uncle Pappy, Holly Hill Cupid, widest of all. Charge into victory needs room. Genuine hero buried toward the inside. Willie B.A. Saluki leads Uncle Pappy by two. Uncle Pappy coming after Willie B.A. Saluki. Uncle Pappy, Willie B.A. Saluki has a short lead. These two at the line, photo finish. It'll either be Uncle Pappy or Willie B.A. Saluki. It is a photo for the win in a time of 2.01 and three-fifths. Photo finish, hold all tickets. You, uh, we told you earlier that We've seen a couple of horses here today who come from, I guess you would say, state fair winning pedigrees. Well, here's another one. You might remember there was a two-year-old trotter by the name of R. Pappy who won here back in 1989. And R. Pappy is from the same family as this two-year-old. In fact, this colt, or this gelding, rather, his grandmother is the dam of R. Pappy. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Uncle Pappy, Dave McGee, with his second winner on the day. Pappy, Uncle Pappy is owned by Carol Graham of Salem, trained by her husband, Tom Buddy Graham. Their son, Buzz Graham, is in the winner's circle. In fact, there's Carol in the winner's circle. 
Carol, it's good to see you back at the races. About a year ago at this time, Carol was not feeling too well, but she's doing much better now. And she is there with her daughter-in-law, Shelly, and her son, Buzz, and driver, Dave McGee. Let's uh, grab Buzz Graham, Tom Graham Jr. Buzz, you put uh, Dave McGee up on Uncle Pappy today, and he comes home with a win. New lifetime record in 201 and 3. Coming down the stretch, you were standing on the sidelines up at the draw gate. Did you have any doubt that Trotter would get there? Yes. But <laughs> he does. You never know. It's his horse race till the end. So, yeah, sure. Absolutely. It, it's always up in the air until they get to that finish line, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, more importantly, how do you feel about your chances going into that final next week? Better now. <laughs> well answered. Tom Graham, Jr., ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Buzz.